Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we will be doing an unboxing video of the ADEX ADEX May system. Today's box opening apparatus will be the truly beautiful SE6. This is my dirt bike SE, so it's a little scratched up, but always sexy and always useful. This box says heavy on it. It is indeed heavy. We will see what we have. ADEX is a small company. They package all of their stuff by hand, but I think they do a pretty good job. I like the individually wrapped brown paper weights. It just makes me think of the sound of music. So this is gonna be a five. Two and a half. I've got a whole pile of fives in here. I see at least four. There we go. I'm gonna go to ADEX and I'm gonna see their packing table because I just imagine it's like a large heavy table with like an industrial sized roller of brown paper on it. It kind of makes me happy. It makes me think of like farm life, you know? <sighs> Thus far, five, 10, 15, 20, 22 and a half. Oh, yikes. All right. And here is our mace handle. It is thin. I actually talked to the designer about this. Normal mace handles, like an Onnit steel mace, has a much larger diameter steel handle. They made these this way based on the recommendation of some of the competition mace guys. Apparently, the smaller handle makes it easier for the hands to endure. I personally would like a fatter handle, and I'll tr probably try and ask them if they'll make me a fatter handle one at some point. Just like our other 8X mace systems, big screw out threads. When I first opened an 8X, I thought that this might not be a great idea, but I've been using them now for months, and it's a very good idea. They don't really get loose at all even when you swing them for 60 minutes nonstop. I thought for sure swinging them would cause it to eventually loosen because of the circular rotation, but it doesn't. So this is a very, very long mace handle. Let's put some weight on it. We have the top of the handle and the top of the weight. The two little nubbins go into the top of the weight that keeps it from rotating around. I don't know what the technical term is, but I'm gonna use the term nubbins because nubbins is a great word. There, we put 15 pounds on there. We're gonna to have to figure out how much the handle itself weighs. Yeah, it's not a quick change system. Oof. In the box, we also have paperwork, 8X clubs and maces. The handle is six pounds. The top screw piece is 1.5 pounds. That makes basically this system here 7.5 pounds. With that two and a half, that would make it 10 pounds. We go six pounds, 7.5, 10, 12.25. He doesn't have the 1.25 pound plate on there because it would just make it twice as big and generally annoying. I think everybody can figure out that if you added 1.25 pounds between those, you could do the math and figure that out. But this goes up as it is with what I have to 30 pounds, which is not a light weight. So let's take our first swing with this beast. Good technique, straight arm at the bottom. Lever it up around the head. Ooh, carries a lot of momentum through the back of the swing. This is definitely not something you can probably do in an apartment, like a shorter mace, like an audit mace, you could probably get away with. Change hands. The thin handle is interesting. I've never used a mace with such a thin handle before, but apparently this is what the competition guys like. So we're gonna give it a shot and try it out. And it is tall. Let me grab my other mace and I'll give you a comparison between this and my other custom mace from MF Refab. So this is our custom Wildman Athletica mace 
from MF Refab. MF Refab on Instagram. He does not have a web page. He only has an Instagram. And this is what I'm used to swinging. Handle-wise, the handles are not much different. Yeah, they're not much different. The length is about the same. Because the head on this gets longer as weight is added, it's gonna change the way it works. ADEX has asked me if I think that this will work for mace flow, and truthfully, I don't know yet. What we are gonna do is take off these weights and we're gonna put on that add-on kit, which is a five pound weight, to make it shorter and get it into a smaller container. I'm not sure though. But flow maces don't really have to get that heavy. Flow maces are in the 10 to 20 pound range for the most part. If they get much heavier than that, they kind of stop being flow maces. You can probably get to 22.5, but I'm unclear. I know that there are some guys who do flow with 25 and they are beast monsters, but your average individual isn't gonna need that. One thing that it doesn't have that other maces do have is some type of knurling in the middle so that you can feel where the middle of the middle is. I will call 8X and see if they can add that in upcoming generations or something. I don't know. They might listen to me, they might not. Thus far, pretty cool. It is thin, it is in the correct handle length range of other maces on the market. They specifically sent this to me because there is a mace competition, which is a thing, in August in Florida, and they have invited me to come. And I was like, oh, I don't know what you guys are doing. So they were like, we'll send you a mace so you can train for it. Apparently, I'm in the big boy category, 210 and over. I don't really consider myself all that big, but apparently I'm big to everybody else. So I have to figure out how heavy I have to make this thing. And I know that there are four events that I read about. The 360 all the way around the head continuous circle. There is a five minute version of that and a 10 minute version of that. I just assume we'll train for the 10 minute version of that because why not? And then there is the 300 as they call it, or the 10 to two as I know it, or the alternating gamma cast as I know it. Where it goes 10 to two. 10 to two. And I have seen these guys doing paces of 36 to 40 per minute, which is pretty fast. I average about 32 per minute, and that's just at a good, casual, good fixation pace. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to get faster uh, and still get my hands to the correct depth. I do see some of these guys in videos dropping their arms down extra low and I'm wondering if that is to try to get a rep count. If they stop at 90 degrees, are they getting no reps? So is everybody going a little bit lower? I don't know, we'll have to find out. It's all an experiment. We'll learn, I guess. Mace looks good so far. Handle is thin compared to what I know, but we now have a big pile of weights and we are going to start using it. Thanks Don over at 8X for sending this out. Let's learn new stuff.